dollar donation tipo, from Aaron o... says, what am I even watching? Na, quando ele tava entrando na, na sala. And here's what you're going to be watching is Taskbot plays Kaizo Mario World 3. Vai começar, hein? Welcome back. This is Taskbot right here. Ah, agora, agora a gente vai ter uma outro uma visualização ali dos inputs através da cor. Então, agora vocês vão poder ver certinho toda vez que a luzinha ligar é porque ele apertou o botão. Uma pequena curiosidade que é, Não, é melhor falar isso na próxima hora que é mais um Tecnicamente, o... Não, esquece. Eu ia falar no setup. The text here explains that Peach has been kidnapped too many times and perhaps it is time to end the monarchy. Uh, you'll see that this game has a lot of different modifications and things that you're not going to see in a normal Super Mario world and Taskbot is going to just do all kinds of insanity. This is really, really cool to see. So right off the bat here, you'll notice that this is not at all uh, your, your grandpa's Mario world. This is completely o different. Uh, this is a lot of strats. Uh, he's using less bullets uma, here than you normally would. Mais otimizada de you, you Kaiser Mario 3. Those uh, left right screen scrolls are to set up the base balls and he's going to actually bring the shell with him uh, because we want to duplicate that block and overwrite another block. We're going to get a shell and now bring Yoshi. Okay. Now watch very carefully because Yoshi is supposed to be ditched right there. The player shouldn't have Yoshi caso, ele não pegou um Yoshi, mas na verdade ele pegou dois Yoshi. Okay, Isso você vai ver um pouco mais para frente. Agora, por exemplo, ele terminou. So keep in mind that after ele this fez um rap ele, ele, ele duplicou ele duplicou o Yoshi way back when Dora he's invisible he's fine he'll, he'll be okay. é, tipo so quando, quando você really spawn um dos Yoshis Yoshis boots magic boots que que do do outro Yoshi muda aí o que mandou o Mario lá para cima para Goldtape ele engoliu uma so right off the bat here Yoshi is jumping on some of these munchers uh, he's impervious to them doesn't die and uh, this is actually kind of the RTA strat for this game. Uh, this game actually is RTA viable. É, nessa uh, parte aqui é, é, é meio ultrapassa uh, porque você não deveria ter o Yoshi. <laughs> então, and Yoshi ate the shell as he was jumping on it. You're going to see that trick used a lot. Um pouco mais fácil uh, porque você, você deveria descer. Yoshi can just eat it again and create a copy. And bringing it through the pipe there. He got a naked Koopa and now he has a rainbow shell in his mouth and can clip through the floor because Taz does things. So you're saying when you beat this you didn't do it this way? No, you actually have to play these obstacles RTA. Uh, this game is actually been uh, is really difficult to beat and is, is notoriously uh, famous for players that have been able to complete it. Uh, notably Calco, the world record holder, Dode, who has been on GDQ stages before, uh, myself, I've beaten this RTA, and Grand Pooh Bear and Barbarian, just to name a couple of the uh, the players that have taken this on. But we're going to be getting into level three now, and uh, this is this is kind of an interesting thing, and it's a chance for us to talk uh, about e the way layers tipo... work in this game. So you see que... that the screen é is que... scrolling around, but the munchers on e the bottom is um stationary, and that's because on a different layer. Uh, everything else in this level, except for the munchers, is on layer one, and the munchers are on layer two, and that allows the screen to move around it while the munchers stay in <laughs> oh, <laughs> the <laughs> well, <laughs> It was actually because Yoshi took damage uh, when he was eating something, and now he's created just a harmless uh, enemy because it just kind of falls off your tongue while you're trying to eat it. This is an auto-scroller, so uh, Taskbot is just killing some time here. By repeatedly veiling off Yoshi like that, uh, he can charge up the combo counter, and that's how he got a one-up on that well, bullet, uh, which is, I just think, really cool trick. And uh, you'll notice that also Taskbot doesn't really care um, about walls. Or how tipo, he just to work. I don't really want to eat that mole, but Taskbot, yeah. oh, hey, okay. <laughs> we can just do this now. He's sliding uphill, isn't he? Yeah, you can actually do that, uh, RTA, but replacing Yoshi's head so with yeah, fireballs. Isso aí é bugado de verdade, porque esses sprites não deveriam estar aí nessa... So the, the mole should still be on... Oh, there he is. He should still be on screen. But uh, it doesn't really matter. If you were doing this RTA, you would actually be riding on the, the mole's head Aí, the entire um time. Uh, jump. Because, but because we have Yoshi, where we're not supposed to, uh, it makes this, the whole thread of the munchers I don't think kind of meaningless. Oh, what, what happened to his head there? <laughs> that Ooh. is because there should be a baby Yoshi on screen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, and <laughs> if there's a baby Yoshi and a real Yoshi on screen, the... Baby Yoshi well, I, over essa Yoshi. parte aí dos discos so, chelos. Normally you see Mario kind of bouncing Você on this disco shell. This section you're actually supposed to do that the entire time. Uh, you're, you're surfing é on this disco um... shell and uh, Yoshi doesn't, um, um Yoshi doesn't care about that. He doesn't care about munchers and uh, he can he's impervious to the saws and to the black munchers that are on the bottom here. But normally you would be surfing this entire time. Uh, so Yoshi don't care? Never. Honey badger? Maybe okay. a bit. 
Okay. There's, a, there's a Lakitu above there, and um, he's throwing some spinies down. Oh, there he is. Look at that. Wasn't That looked like a Lakitu, right? Uh, that that like a <laughs> he's actually just in the wrong sprite set. Uh, he would look like Só that even if he were on speed. I didn't know that was a Lakitu. I mean, okay, the thing is like... See a couple more of these tricks. Um, poofing, still jumping on it with Yoshi in that sort of poof animation. Yoshi can eat that animation, and it just creates another copy of the same item. And you're going to see that used a few more times with P-switches and with a lot of shells. That no P-speed midair is a really impressive trick. Uh, it's very, very, very hard to pull off RTA. Again, Taskbot just kind of having some fun here with this. Uh, but, oh, hey, a, oh, that was pretty neat. Uh, so he's manipulating the stun timer uh, for that yellow Koopa when it pops out. And you can load other sprites in and create uh, sprites out of thin air. And normally this would be a super hard gauntlet where you're surfing on a disco shell and there's all these saws that are falling at you, but Yoshi's despawning a lot but of them, eating them because magic. Oh. And it uh, looks like we're going to try to get the goalpost to spawn early. There it is. So he cleared the level just without even touching it because the sprite is the, the, goal, the moving but tape at the end of the goal is a sprite ele, ele, that in. That's not how you're supposed to play that. Ele usou a língua do Yoshi para... How, what was your uh, what, what's the typical time for a human to complete pra this whole game? Oh, uh, geez, anywhere between a gold tape phase mais... seven hours, maybe. Uh, but so you're not allowed to take Yoshi into the ghost house. That's just the property of vanilla Super Mario World. Uh, he's getting some P-speed here so he can damage boost through those ghosts. And those smashing platforms are also on there, too. So you're going to see a little bit of camera scrolling to manipulate the positions of those falling platforms. The double fishing boos are fun, but you can just wall jump and get right around them. And now this fight doesn't, this is not how you're supposed to do this at all whatsoever. So you're supposed to stay down there at the bottom, but because Taskbot can do wall jumps whenever he wants, he can actually just go up to the top here. The way you're supposed to do this is by hanging out at the bottom on those uh, purple grab blocks and throwing them up individually to hit this big boo when he's uh, vulnerable. Uh, but Taskbot has brought one block up with him as a shell, and it's just going to be able to register three hits and clear no problem. <laughs> that is way faster than... I think anybody could do. E, and it, it's worth noting that the spikes would have killed him. Uh, he's like one pixel away from the spikes. That was just for swag at the end there. You know, one pixel from death explains almost every task. O bloco enquanto pula ao mesmo tempo e... Oh, no. Tá agindo a passando pelo... Sem acertar o... This does not look good, guys. Oh, he's gonna be... Oh, yeah. Sem acertar o... This doesn't look good. I don't think he's supposed to do that. Sem acertar o cacho. Uh, that, my friends, is called a desync. Taskbot, you okay, man? It's okay. Ah, uh, the desync. Right. Yep. All right. No, he's. Yeah, it would it would appear that we're desync at this yeah, point. Yeah, 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 absolutely, positively desync. O que que acontece, tipo? No caso, esses wall jumps, é, você tem tipo. Over and over and over again. Several, several Meio que uh, um frame quando você pular uma determinada velocidade. Tem uma janela de um frame que você pode. Você. É... Uh, USB mini cable that's in that Imagina bag. Imagina de um frame que você pode. <laughs> It's worth noting that Twango's actually got this. Isso humanamente é muito difícil. Really, really impressive. Yeah, this is full console verification. So um, I, I brought a couple USB. É, na real, não foi um pro problema no, na programação ali da na, do, do script. O so problema é que o o Duengo, que é esse cara de camiseta branca aí, ele chutou o cabo um, e deu uma desconectada ali sem querer. Right e aí, quando reconectou, o bot tava num momento totalmente diferente da run, né? E aí não, não se encou mais o tempo do jogo com o tempo do script. E aí, deu ruim. Ok, Taskbot on a short leash. And, uh, here goes. Oh, no, that, guys, that's a mini. <laughs> I need the, I need a, I need a <laughs> estagiário foi lá, o cara pediu atrás do cabo, o estagiário foi lá e pegou o outro cabo. Yeah, Maravilha. Hey, it's a slightly less short leash. Okay, o, all right. Não pode estar nervoso com a porque não é uma so, you know, que é normal. <laughs> you just can't always predict for everything that happened. In this case, que o bot tem credenciais ali. Tem... So the very first thing we need to do, do is controle. Uh, because we've already run through the game, is delete the contents of uma, the file you hear. You see here. Uma relíquia. So we'll do that right away. I don't mind mercy killing Hyper Princess Pitch. I mean, I didn't want to do it, but this one we can't. We can't mercy kill this. This is just too insane to just 
É como deu Mercy Kill no, na Rando Hyper Pitch, então ainda tem tempinho aí pra, pra salvar, né? Então dá pra recomeçar. Agora eles vão começar desde o comecinho. Vão refazer todas as duas primeiras fases. Ok, então, vamos! É, vai ter que fazer as duas primeiras fases de novo. Então vai ver a primeira fase, vai ver o Outroller. Até chegar na... e também vai ver a fase do... da, bu... da Bull House. Uh, so you've seen some ROM hacks at GDQ before, and uh, right. this is one of the most infamous. Uh, this this hack has a really uh, reputation for a really extreme skill, and uh, there's a lot of uh, players that have beaten this by now. But it takes a Herculean effort from just about anybody. Barra so banho não vendo pela essa things, uh, por essa piada horrível do Taj. But I think we got most of it. Um, again, the bullets here you need a few more bullets uh, than Taskbot is using. So the, that shell, see that yellow rotating block? That's where that shell is supposed to go, but he just did sort of a shell jump off the wall there to get it through. One other thing I'd like to point out really quick. This visualization board you see up here in this top display, you can see some cases here where the buttons are being pressed a little bit more insanely than a normal human being would be able to do. Uh, especially when we get into later swimming levels, you'll see that it presses left and right with 60 hertz frame per frame perfect accuracy. Left and then right and then left and then right 60 times in one second. So th you're going to see a lot of nutty uh, input if you watch this visualization board as we can. Esse Mario normal não, esse é uma versão uh, bem difícil de Mario chamada Kaizo Mario World 3. It's technically illegal. I don't even think we use left and right at any point, do we? Wait, left, left and right simultaneously? Yeah, do we? I think that's in the other one. Not the yeah, I don't think it, this one even Maybe in the water. Como eu tinha comentado, os comentaristas lá da, 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 da gringa, é, tu não deveria estar com o Yoshi aí, né? Então é como se tivesse... Como o Sansini falou, né? Pra passear. É... Não é pra passa, né? Mas é, não é a forma ideal que o, o, não é o que o developer tinha em mente, né? Como a gente costuma dizer, é... Você tá simplesmente... Não intencionais de ter... Esse tempo? Como é? Porque você está passando de maneiras não intencionais. É, é... É, é uma, uma, boa, uma boa palavra, uma boa palavra. Representa bem. E agora vai ter o Water Scroller, né? Que ele mata o Lakitu, ele brinca com o, o Mole. Se você chegasse muito perto do Mole, ele ia te matar, certo? Sim, ele ia te matar. Eu estava acompanhando o Barb jogando Kaizo Mario 3 nessa fase. Ele está com aquele monte de. Você pode fazer isso também. Um monte de serras lá. Tipo, dois centímetros. Tipo, chegando na. Praticamente chegando na. Na Gold Tape, ele morre. Exatamente como ele está tentando comer um inimigo. Uh, it will produce just a harmless version of the enemy that will just walk around without cara, damage about... at all. And how did he get that one up? Just know, cara, the one up tá... was um, so when you bail off Yoshi, if you're if you're riding Yoshi and you spin jump to leave Yoshi's back, and then you immediately spin jump again once you land back on Yoshi, that for some reason charges your bonus counter. So you uh, you know like when Mario jumps on rows of enemies in a row, you get like 100 points, 200 points, 400, 800, and so on all the way up to one ups. You can actually just manually charge that counter by jumping on and off Yoshi like that. Uh, it's more of a high score trick than anything else, but um, you can use it to get a free one up off of things because you can charge your counter up to one ups and that just have infinite one ups. You can do that RTA too. There's lots of things that you can actually take these tricks and play them in real Super Mario World, and that's what's really cool about a lot of these um, modified games is that um, they contain things that are possible in the real original Mario World, just recontextualized to não, é, show off just how difficult Roger, and, uh, interesting o Calco ele é chileno, ele não é argentino não. Token in slightly, slightly different direction. A lot of times, tricks and glitches found with tool-assisted speedrun techniques are used by real-time runners. Yeah, that can happen. <laughs> Shout-out to the Dode, who manages to translate all kinds of task things into RTA. So all rainbow shells fly. That's not a uh, that's not a glitch or anything. That's just a vanilla property. I, I never get tired of seeing that Lakitu yeah. die. It, it really does look like Cappy. Yeah, now we're getting to the part where he's going to... 
é, criando sprites na tela, né? Ele cria esse casco amarelo aí que deveria estar numa outra parte da tela e puxa ela. Bem antes, talvez a forma que ele vai fazer o... Ali, na verdade, é, você tá... Você tá pilotando o descochel e, você... e aí vem um outro... Que ele tá com uma cria um segundo descochel E você tem que deixar naquele, naquele gap ali, naquele gap antigo Senão, no um caso que mata o outro, você tá ferrado See, here's this stun timer manipulation we were talking about The Koopas take a little bit to respawn uh, and jump in and out of their shells And I think we're gonna be swapping in... The goalpost sprite, uh, é, agora ele vai trocar, né, o... Ele puxa a linha final da fase para exatamente onde ele tá. É, ele puxa o tape para terminar mais cedo a fase. E não se preocupe, ele vai continuar. Não vamos desistir dessa vez. Agora sim a gente volta para a fase que... Não, tem mais uma ainda, não tem que fazer a Blue House. Eu tentei sair, é burrado. Acho que não me engano. Eu estaria muito medo de estar aqui. Eu estaria muito medo de estar aqui. Eu estaria muito medo de estar aqui. É só o cara ficar paradinho ali. E de novo, essa câmera de escolha é para manipular as plataformas que você vê em cima e em baixo. Também, esses inimigos são muito engraçados. É engraçado que ele entra na porta no meio do foguinho. Todo mundo ama fazer boo. Você ou ama ou ama. Ele traga o seu movimento. And as he, you know, you move left. Everybody loves fishing. I don't need this. Can he turn around and juke you in just the worst way sometimes? But keep in mind, like I said, even though Taskbot is doing this in a in a really crazy fast way, this game actually is RTA viable and can be speedrun by mere mortals. Yes, I guess maybe they're mortals. Are you mortal? I hope so. I hope so. Ele tá, ele tá falando que esse jogo é... Ok, eu acho que estamos bem agora. Sim, estamos bem. Bem, eu sei que a última vez que eu não sei que você tem muito tenha muita paciência e cabelos. Porque você vai arrancar eles. Eu acho que eu gosto desse nível, acho que é um pouco divertido. Então você tem que ter 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 que Uh, where Yoshi, he's gonna remount and dismount Yoshi in order to get his position right and ah, do the ah, agora sim. You actually can see that trick in. Uh, ah, yeah. What's that? Esse, esse truque ele acontece em, no próprio Super Mario World. É um, um truque bem comum. Até. Um clipezinho né, com o Yoshi. É recorrente. Um clipezinho né, com o Yoshi. É recorrente. So he has to wait for the sandbars to move away. I don't know why he's only clipped through layer one. Layer two is still just even if you can't see it. This section is great, but Taskbot just completely ignores it, and the pipe is on layer two to trick you. You got to wait for it. Unfortunately, it just is not in the right. Oh man, he lost Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi's fine. Okay. We gotta we gotta keep Yoshi alive. We gotta kill him later. That's harsh, man. Spoiler alert. I think I think everyone saw that coming, though, right? Yeah. Well, there's the clip. Oh. Damage and getting pushed by that sandbar. It can just get sent right into the wall. It's very difficult because you have to. And setting up a little bit, he wants to yeah avoid that mushroom and eat that shell so he can clip up into the ceiling up there. So this last part coming up is supposed to be a maze. You're supposed to swim through it. Ah, o ceiling pegar aquele cogumelo ali para fazer um damage boost. Ah, é. Aí agora simplesmente clipou, clipou até o final da fase. Essa parte devia ser um labirinto, o cara clipa é, a parede, é, 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 pelo é, é, amor de Deus. Esse é, 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 é um labirinto que você tem que ser bem preciso. Essa fase aí, se eu não me engano, é a Toque é é é Sky Tree. Você está mantendo essa vine vivo o tempo todo e climando, mas isso é realmente difícil. O cara chegou lá em cima, né? Ele vai ser muito maluco. Para que Yoshi possa ser sentado pelo chão, porque isso foi a única maneira de conseguir Yoshi. E agora ele não precisa de uma vine para crescer, ele vai continuar por esse nível. Normalmente você está obtendo coisas... É, ele precisa do, do Yoshi né, para fazer as loucuras aí, então... Tenta fazer o máximo possível para manter aí o possível e o impossível. Oh, deixou. Ah, Yoshi. Yoshi. 
And also you see if when the, the camera is kind of having trouble following Mario here, that's because the camera only scrolls up in vertical levels like this when you're standing. And so uh, every time the camera doesn't follow a taskbar, it's a frame perfect jump that he's doing. A couple of double blocks to get up there. Uh, one thing that you, it was, went by really quick, I don't know if you noticed, but when you duplicate <laughs> the blocks in adjacent squares, and you're going to see that used a little bit more in the next thing, uh, but what he did right there was duplicated a couple rotating blocks into the cement blocks, turned the cement blocks into rotating blocks, so that they could then rotate... Cara, foi um monte de tecnicalidade, mano, tipo, não vale a pena traduzir isso aí, porque... Alright, so coming up, this is é the, muito uh, complexo. not the end of the game, even though it is the, uh, the Koopa Fortress. Agora you keep Kyoto, é a hora que você this mata a Peach. level is the bane of so many players' existence. These dolphins are RNG, and again, we've got... É, na história do jogo, a Peach instaurou uma monarquia, né? Agora não é mais raptado. Não, não, tipo, não, não, na verdade, não. Aqui, tipo, não. O, o Mario, ele, ele tá pistola simplesmente porque já teve que resgatar a Peach um monte de vezes e decidiu matar ela. Ele fez isso muito fácil agora. Então, check it out right here. Um, because he knows what dolphins are coming up, uh, he ah, can skip deixa, hiding é, in the rest of those so spots um and just clear então. that. Normally you're supposed to wait two or three more cycles for that. Oh, jeez, it's Bowser, watch out! Oh, he's fine, don't worry, he's fresh. So, é, and some headbanging head in there, that was, that was, I like that on the task. So this is a modified version of the Wendy fight from Vanilla SMW. Uh, and as you can see, we are killing Peach. Uh, it's been, uh, thwomps have been added to this fight and uh, the fireballs, but the general structure of the fight Cara, is the one real enemy that you can hit and um that's usually um wendy's lemmy and resnors and big boo get used a lot in uh, super mario World rom hacks because they're easier to modify than some of the other enemies like um like larry or roy for example it's so one thing i want to comment on while this is going through the reason that we could get those dolphins to behave the way they did the randomness is always exactly the same, so we force the RNG sequence to be the same. And you might want to explain this Japanese text real quick. Oh, well, it's it's very deep. It says that Mario killed Peach but felt nothing, so he continues on, wandering lost in the world. That's dark, man. Takamoto is a kind of a dark maker. He's really mysterious. He released three of these Kaizo games, Kaizo 1, 2, and 3, and pretty much coined the term Kaizo, which is actually Japanese for rearranged. Uh, Kaizo is a colloquial term for Super mas o Taz, como ele é babaca, ele vai pular metade dela. Você tem que fazer um monte de back and forth. Então, então é... e ela tem duas saídas. Então, ela tem duas saídas porque você, é, para quem quer fazer 100%. É... Glutão Júnior, a tradução para Kaiso é simplesmente modificação. É, caso é, é modificado, falhado. Mas hoje em dia ele é meio que assemelhado à dificuldade, né? Sim, é... O termo original é, é retrabalhado, e... mas só que no caso virou sinônimo de fase... Virou sinônimo de... Uh, this is, this is the, oh no, that's not the RTA strat, that's just clipping, but this, you lose Yoshi and then run and catch up with him. That's a little bit of how you would actually do this. Uh, You're supposed to eat that pokey, but your task can just clip right through. And now he actually wants to check the checkpoint here, not for the safety, but for the tipo, big power-up. Uh, he's gonna do a couple more clips to get through the wall there, and lose Yoshi, get the truck to come, eat that blue shell, now he can fly. And there is a fun cheese é, por exemplo, se você olhar no canto superior esquerdo ali da, da imagem da GDQ, tem o, os botões que o robozinho está apertando, está piscando. E em algumas fases mais intensas, tu vê que tipo, é, a quantidade de botão que ele aperta é completamente impossível de um humano reproduzir, né? Por, por tipo, 30, 40, 50 inputs por segundo, que é complicadíssimo. Com precisão ainda, né? Então, a outro nível. Okay, e, tipo, up on, so, você so vê, a uh, estimativa é 17 minutos, mas tipo... Heck, and this one is called heaven, and this horas e horas pra fazer, so porque tipo... Have, don't typically actually Vai e volta os frames para que tudo saia de maneira perfeita. Você come that same rainbow shell and you're now able to fly. Um, so normally you could fly up and fly above the auto scroll trigger, uh, but Taskbot's actually just gonna go through the pipe and do some shenanigans here. <laughs> In the, I love that. It's so great. He's mounting and remounting uh, Yoshi as he's 
there to just sort of hover in the air. So this is an auto scroll. So you're going to see uh, Taskbot just having some fun. I think he's gotten over his nerves from before. Uh, he's, he seems to be loosened up a little bit and having a lot more fun. There's the underpants scroll platform. Scroll is that aquele moment que o Taz simplesmente que o Taz simplesmente vai e faz os swags que quiser. So this is actually uh, the player right now is in the machinery of this level. Um, to be honest with you, I don't even know the RTA way that you're supposed to do this, but it's just incredibly hard. And the gimmick of this level in real time is that you're hitting these on-off switches to change the dotted line, outline blocks into solid blocks and vice versa, depending on your needs. And there's all kinds of incredible stuff that you have to do with this uh, in real time. But again, you can just get the Yoshi from the Coliseum RTA. And oh, that was fun. The frame perfect jump off the P-switch. Uh, but you can normally just bring the Yoshi from the Coliseum here. Uh, I think this is... Tu tá falando de como programar o script, né? O... Tu tem acesso ao. Tem emuladores, né? Que te dão acesso a. a essas funções de TAS, que tu pode programar um, um script, né? Tu pode dizer no frame 1 eu quero que tá perto de A, no frame B eu quero que tá perto de A, esquerda e Y, no frame 40 eu quero que tu tá perto para baixo. E aí ele faz toda uma. Uma série de, de, de inputs, né? Que o, o, o robozinho, né? Ou no caso, o emulador, para pessoas que, que não tem, né? O robô. É, fazem. Vai, fa, repete esse script ao mesmo tempo que o jogo é rodado, né? Então, é, é essa combinação aí de script com o jogo começando no, no momento certo que a gente tem esse. Essa, essa, é essa tá acontecendo. Essa é a pior coisa do jogo, que tipo, você tem que você tem... Down, a metade da fase. E você pode ter um pouco de caminho dentro da lava, cerca de um bloco, mas se você tem mais do que isso, você vai morrer. Essa pausa lá foi para pegar essa estátua e chutar duas bolas de fogo. Você pode manipular essa bola de fogo para pausar e depois não ficar aqui. Então você está supostamente para ir para a direita, mas o Taskbot, com a dupla dessas on-off switches, você pode clicar sobre a bola. E agora nós vamos para a área icônica, que está tão tormentado por tantos jogadores. Isso é incrível. Tudo aqui é RNG. Se ele chuta os hammers, é RNG. A posição dos hammers. Quando ele se move, quando ele chuta os hammers, e as bombas destroem ele, isso leva 5 hits, e a luta evolui enquanto isso vai acontecer. O Taskbot sabe o que está acontecendo, então o Taskbot não está tão preocupado com o que está acontecendo. Going on, so Taskbot isn't as scared as real players could take up to 20 or 30 or more hours to beat this fight one time. And we're going to score five hits again. Now keep in mind, time is going to end early because for a task. Meu Deus, ainda tem os médicos. Aqui, velho. E depois vai vir os tuomps. As bombas voadoras também. Agora imagina você fazer isso. Sim, então estamos esperando a bomba. Mario powers up com o mushroom, porque isso foi feito antes do tempo. E lá o Bowser morreu, e esse é o fim do jogo. Isso é o Kaizo 3. Nice. Ah, e sim, então, Júnior, você consegue jogar esse jogo, você consegue terminar ele normalmente, mas você vai levar muito, muito tempo. Mais um, um Taz aí chegando, Item Abuse. 